All right, I've been driving now, I don't know, about 20 minutes or so. I have an SVCM disabler installed. And, um, you know, it started acting funny. Anyway, I'll just record this for now to show that uh, the thermostat has dropped to like super cold, but obviously the engine's been running, so it shouldn't be super cold. Um, I used the scan tool this morning to disable the engine light. So this is the scan tool that I use. Super simple, got in there. I used it when I bought the car to check it for new codes, and um, I watched that guy's video, and he had the same kind of problem. I'll try to post a link to his video too that helped me out, because uh, I didn't know if I needed to tow the car home. But anyway, super good. I got it off of Amazon, link below. And so I'm almost getting home now, and um, so, from what I've seen on other YouTube channels, I'll try to link to them, that they've, I saw this one dude, right? And he installed the SVCM, <coughs> and then he expected it to throw the error code. I'm getting error code P01128 or 82. And uh, what he did was just, he just used the scan tool and he deactivated, you know, he cleared the codes. So that's what I did. But even from doing that, like now it's reading cold, you know, just straight up cold. Oh, the car's running fine. You know, we maintain the car pretty well, but uh, at first it was, I guess, registering too hot. So the car would kind of stutter and almost feel like it was going to turn off. And then at some point the battery died and I changed the battery and it uh, really hasn't been the same ever since. Um, I ordered a new one. I'm gonna check to see if everything's tight again. I bought a new, the new sensor that goes there. I replaced that whole unit and everything was fine for a minute. And then uh, I think it's just that error code is what it is with that thing. But it was running fine before without it. And I'd rather it do that than me have to cancel out error codes. So I think that's long enough. Maybe uh, not home yet, but I'll show it when I get home. And I mean, this engine should be hot, right? Okay. Yeah, okay, so almost home and look, <laughs> look who decided to show up. Mr. Thermostat. And the car's been running fine. You know, like, dude, I was terrified when I saw that check engine light and all those code. Um, but uh, as long as it's not overheating, we're good to go. I guess I'll keep you updated. And yeah, man, thanks. And uh, has anybody else had this kind of experience with, uh, with this SVCM? All right, guys, see you later. We're in the car, I'm gonna cold start it and see if it stutters and all that. Just... That sounded great to me. What do you think? Good, yeah. yeah, right? And so we'll look here. Yeah, and I'll notice too, the RPMs should be kind of there. When it starts to have a little when it starts to have its issues, right? You'll I'll notice that the RPMs drop to under under the one. And yeah. Usually the heat temperature goes up pretty quick. So I'm gonna have it running and see if the temperature goes up. Alright, I guess I should have timed it. So now I'm kinda having that issue where by now the engine would uh I mean, the needle should be moving. <clears throat> so it's like the, the um, I guess the thing's doing its job. You know, it's telling, uh, it's telling the computer that it's not overheating, but I still would rather it be accurate. You know, it was running pretty good. Anyway, thanks. Um, I'll update you guys when the new piece gets here.
All right, see you later.